Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this video, I want to demo one of our last uh, Photoshop action packs, which includes digital makeup. This is kind of rounding out our bundle that is the portrait essentials for uh, really pro retouching when it comes to your portrait images. So I'm going to demo two of the actions that are included in this five action pack. Uh, and you can see more in the de description down below, link down there, and you can uh, go see some more before and afters, learn more about the actions that are included. So for this one, what we're going to do is actually do some eyeshadow here. And we have one that's called a natural eyeshadow and one that's called colorful eyeshadow. This one, uh, there's an image that lends itself more to the colorful eyeshadow. So I'm going to click right here. And I'm going to click the play button and just let it do its thing. So it's basically saying the action is applied and you can just paint in where you want the effect to be applied. So I'm going to click stop there. And on this layer mask here, you can see it's all grouped in this one folder. On this layer mask, we're going to get a white brush. We have a regular white brush with our flow pretty low. And what this will do is actually just gradually paint in the effect. And so with a very light brush, we're going to go in on the eye and just start painting in. And you can see it brings in a color. Now this is, you know, could be the color that you want, or it could be uh, a different color, and that's what we can, we're going to be able to change. So I'm just painting this in a little bit, and I'll probably end up taking some of it away, but uh, you can kind of see the effect that it gives here. And towards the end here, I'm just going to kind of fade that out a little bit more, so probably right there and right there a little bit. So this is our before and this is our after, just kind of painted in that effect. If we expand this folder, we're going to see uh, the color. So we can click on this little layer that has a little change color, double click on that, and here's where you can basically change it to pretty much any color and saturation value that you want. So we can go more of a blue, uh, kind of get more of an aqua, yellow, red. We can go any kind of crazy color that we want to. I'm actually going to try to match a little bit to the lipstick here. So I'm just going to play around with it. Maybe go down towards this direction here, really brighten it up with the saturation, darken it a little bit. So let's just call that one good. And then we can go in here and touch up a little bit of the spots uh, that we want the makeup to really be included there. So just like that. And there we go. So you can see the before and after very easy to do uh, and you can pretty much put any kind of color on there that you'd like so that is the colorful eyeshadow now if we go over here to the uh, this one right here this one's a very popular effect and this is basically adding lipstick to uh, to a person so this is a very easy effect so we're just going to click on the apply lipstick right here and then click the play button and there we go and so here we can click on our layer mask just like we did before get a white brush and we can paint in the lipstick right there, just any kind of color that we want to. So we're just painting in the kind of default color that, that it was included in this action uh, just right there. And obviously that does not match the photo. But if we go in here to the uh, one of the layers in the group here, we can change the effect of the, la the uh, color. And just like we did before, we can change the color to anything we want to. I'm going to go more of a natural red maybe saturate it just a little bit, darken it a little bit here, and then we can zoom in and kind of paint in where we want it to be included again, just like that. Make sure it covers the whole lip there, just like that. All right, and we are good. So if it, it looks a little bit too much, which it kind of does, what we can do, we have two options here. We can go back into the lipstick and we can take the saturation down, uh, play with the values here, but if we really wanted to keep that value there, we could go over there and take the group here and just take the opacity down. So that's one really great way about these actions is you can do fine touches by going in here to the layer mask or just go to the one main layer mask and turn down the opacity and bring a little bit of that natural look back into the photo. So I hope you guys enjoyed these quick little walkthroughs on the uh, digital makeup action pack. Uh, again, more information down in the description down below. You can see more information there, more before and afters, and check out uh, anything you want to uh, when it comes to the Pro Essentials editing bundles. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. This is Jordan from Sleeklands, and I'll see you in the next one.